might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Hello, Amelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes round telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. 
I say I'm the best, and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I don't understand. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I'm over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose! That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pot me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? <laughs> you could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United, and my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. Has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. You take care of yourself. <laughs>